Good morning, guys. Or actually, it might even be afternoon. I don't even know what time it is. No, it's 10.52. <laughs> Who else is messed up with this daylight savings time thing? Like, it has me completely thrown off. You add into that, I have some, like, really bad sleeping scenarios with kids right now, and they've been ongoing, and so I just... I struggle some mornings and today was one of them, so I'm a little off. So I haven't done this before while doing the reboot, but this time I'm actually going to follow along by testing my blood ketone levels with this guy. Whoa, there's a reflection. Um, at each step along the way. And what that means is, um, so the most accurate and only scientific way that you can actually test whether or not you're in ketosis, or you know, that kind of thing, is by using a blood ketone meter. And this is a little aggressive for most people, um, but it works. Um, so my, my husband's a type 1 diabetic, so he pricks his finger all the time. Doesn't throw me off like one bit, because I've tested mine plenty of times with him. Um, so I grabbed this Keto Mojo blood ketone meter to basically prove out in a lot of ways that our products do what they say they can do. And I prove it with my own body. Um, for like a testing purpose, a lot of people think um, to use those ketone pee strips. It's like urine strips that you, you know, like put under your pee. And it's actually even best to like dip it and hold it there like if you peed in a cup, but I don't know. I've never done those, never used those. But after that very initial period, it's not the um, greatest way to measure um, level of ketones anyway, because all you're actually measuring with those urine strips is one type of ketone and you're seeing that you have a lot of them because you're peeing them out. It doesn't mean they're necessarily in your bloodstream. It means they're in your urine and that's all that it really means. Those are not being absorbed by your body. So testing your blood ketone levels will tell you accurately what that means. And so I'm, I'm going to do it for you guys this morning. Oh, yay, Kathy, you bought one. You know what? And do it later. Um, I haven't tested mine in a couple of weeks. Um, I didn't do it last night, but I thought I would try to be really diligent this time just to take people on the um, journey with me through this whole reboot scenario. Um, I even like last night, I weighed myself. I took pictures where you could see the date and the time on my uh, Fitbit while I'm standing on the scale. And I'm going to do it like I did it this morning and I'm going to do it tomorrow night, you know, just to show kind of the pathway that can happen um, for some people. Um, and I ate all the pasta in Little Italy last week in New York City, so there's a lot of room for improvement in my situation. So, okay, let's go ahead and test my ketone levels. And so what this is going to tell you, if you are in the 1.5 to 3 range, that means you're in a, like, optimal um optimal level of ketones above and beyond that is just like super gravy and the only way you can really get there consistently is um what by fasting which is what we're doing right now so you take this little guy there's a needle inside there i'm gonna prick my finger this is not super fun i've learned from my husband that the best one is the side of that finger doesn't seem to be the case for me okay Not great fun, y'all. Yeah, I'm not getting enough blood to come out. I'm dead inside. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna prick again. Ah! Okay, that one felt worse. That should be able to get some more blood out. I mean, for real, like, I'm not getting a lot of blood. <laughs> Does that mean I'm dead for real? I'm dead inside. I'm trying to get a pretty good little... blob of blood so I can show you this thing. Here we go. Like squeeze it out of there. And so you just put it here. Kind of absorbs it in there. I hope I get enough. Let's see what happens. I don't know that I had enough in there to grab. Jeez Louise. I didn't. It's gonna make me do it again. Well all right here we go. Well, this is not going as planned, right? Okay. Oh, now, now it all comes out. It comes out of all my spots now. This is crazy. Okay, here we go. See how it... Now it's going to count down. Mm. 
I'm literally taking you on the whole way. So for me, 0.7. This is not surprising. There are a very low level of ketones in my blood. I have not had ketones this morning. I'm like way off my schedule um, for just general life. <laughs> but I have not drank ketones this morning. So I'll test it again after I do. Um, I'm literally, I know you don't necessarily require it, but I'm drinking black coffee because I feel like death. Um, but this is not surprising because I have been very not great with how I've been eating lately. So if I were already in ketosis from, you know, overnight, I mean, I am, but like minimally. Um, so getting this between like 1.5 and 3 is like an ideal scenario. So what I'm going to do is after I drink my ketones this morning, which I'll do pretty soon, an hour later, because our ketones are patented to provide a therapeutic level of ketones and to put you into that fat burning state of ketosis within 59 minutes. So I'm going to drink them an hour later. I'm going to test my blood again and show you guys. And um, if I post this anywhere else and you're seeing this, I'm in the middle of our 60 hour reboot and detox, which started last night. So all day today and then all day tomorrow and then through the night, I won't be actually eating, chewing food, but we'll be drinking a ton of water and um, drinking ketones. So that's all. I was just going to share that with you guys. I don't know wh where you are, but um, this is a really good reboot for me because I have really been, um, you know, even, even like keto coaches and reboot people fall off the wagon sometimes. And I have, I've been there this last probably one to two weeks, I would say. And my scale shows that and the way my clothes fit pretty bloaty right now. So I don't know, follow along you guys. I'm going to be doing a couple more videos here and there just to show, what happens along the way. So I'll catch you back in an hour or two and show you what happens after I drink ketones. See y'all later.